I love the Bible and it's had such an important part to play in my life. Through it I've got to know about Jesus. Through it I've come to faith and known how to receive the Holy Spirit in my life. Through it I've learned to pray. Through it I've gained hope and purpose for my life. And you know, it's something I've read for years and in my office there's shelves full of Bibles. I've got Bibles in the original Greek language, in the original Hebrew language. I've got good traditional translations and modern translations. I've even got graphic comic translations. An amazing range. I've got Bibles in Hebrew and in Italian and in French and in German. But you know, there's one Bible I haven't got. Because there's one group living right under our nose who don't have the Bible in their own language. And that is the Bible in British Sign Language. We've got the Bible, just one Gospel. Here it is, Mark's Gospel, on a DVD, being translated from English into British Sign Language. Now, I work with the deaf community as the chaplain or minister with deaf people in the Diocese of Leeds all over West Yorkshire, a little bit in North Yorkshire and South Yorkshire. But in my work, I translate the Bible every day. I stand up and I read Bible passages to deaf people and I sign it. I talk to them and teach them the Bible. But you know, it's not the same as having a real translation. And of course, we can't translate the Bible into British Sign Language for the deaf community by writing it on a piece of paper or typing it into the computer. It's got to be signed to video. And the BSL Bible Translation Project devotes its time to creating an authoritative version of the Bible in British Sign Language. Signed to video so it can be made into DVDs like this, or can be put on the internet for access via your computer. And the Bible Translating Project does its work thoroughly. The translation groups are a meeting together of Bible scholars who know the Bible in their original languages, of expert BSL translators and interpreters, and of deaf people who give their input and then eventually sign the stories and the sayings and the teachings of the Bible to camera. It's a worthwhile project. Over in America, they've just finished translating the whole Bible into American Sign Language. Unfortunately, it's a different style of sign language than we have here in English. It's a different language. So here we are, we've made a start, we've got one gospel, but we'd love to have so much more. And that's why today, this Bible Sunday, I'm asking people to give their support for the BSL Bible Translation Project. We want your prayers, we want your encouragement, and also we want your financial support so that the project can go from strength to strength. A long while ago, I remember taking a young deaf girl through the story of Easter. And we talked to her about Jesus going to Jerusalem, riding in on a donkey, all the crowds crowded. And she'd heard that story. And we talked about how Jesus went into the upper room with his disciples and he took the bread and he broke it and he took the wine and he shared it. And she'd heard that story. And then we talked about how Jesus was crucified on a cross and his friends left him and deserted him. And she'd heard that story. You see, she'd been taken to church since a child. And then we came to the story of the resurrection, of what happened that first Easter morning. And she looked at me. She'd never seen the story 
of the resurrection before. She didn't even know it happened. Really, there are communities in our midst who don't have the basic information about the Christian gospel and the Christian message. Can you help us to give them the Bible in their own language? I hope so. Take a few moments now to have a look at a Bible story produced by the BSL Bible Translation Project. We're going to look at a familiar Bible story, the parable of the sower in Mark's Gospel. And uh, the BSL Bible Project produces its videos, just a simple person signing the stories. It's plain, but it's carefully worked out, so it's theologically accurate, it's historically accurate, it matches the original text. But it's done and filmed on a chroma key screen. So in this case I've taken it and I've added a background and I've added subtitles and I've added an English voiceover which will help you to follow it. But it also is what we can do with this tremendous resource that the project gives to us who minister amongst deaf people. We use these all the time in our online worship and our in-person worship. We've got our own Bible now or we're starting to have. But how wonderful it will be to have all the Old Testament and the letters of Paul and the other Gospels as well. Please, please, this Bible Sunday, give your support to the BSL Bible Translation Project. Yeah.